Hi, it's Officer Potak. Hi, it's Officer Best. We're inside today. It's May 28th. It's kind of a muggy, dreary, rainy day. So we figured we're going to get some book reading done. So today's book, If You Give a Cat a Cupcake, <laughs> the key work there is cake. <laughs> cake. See that? <laughs> right there. Cake. And we know why he's reading cake. this book. <laughs> <clears throat> if you give a cat a cupcake, he'll ask for some sprinkles to go with it. Because sprinkles, according to Flo, are for winners. <laughs> when you give him sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. Well, of course he will. He's a cat. And you know who's going to clean those sprinkles up? The dad. That's who's <laughs> going to clean those sprinkles up. It won't be the kid or the cat. It'll be the dad. <laughs> Cleaning up will make him hot. So you'll give him a bathing suit. <laughs> and take him to the beach. Are you kidding me? So if I make a mess, I get to go to the beach? Yes. I'm doing life all wrong here. <laughs> He'll want to go into the water and build a sandcastle, too. In the meantime, there's sprinkles still on the floor. And you know what? The cat's not going to eat them. The mice will. Oh, yeah, because the cat's playing. <laughs> then he'll look for seashells. He'll find a few other things as well. He'll put them in his pail and try to pick it up, but it will be too heavy. He'll decide he needs to work out at the gym. He's a hoarder. <laughs> After eating all the cupcakes, he better go to the gym. Oh, my goodness. First, he'll warm up on the treadmill. Then he'll lift a weight or two. He might even try a karate class. In the meantime, wear the sprinkles. <laughs> After the gym, he'll want to go to the park. When you get there, he'll see the rocks, and he'll climb as high as he can go. And then he'll call the fire department when he gets stuck. At the top, <laughs> he'll see the lake. He'll want to take. He'll want you to take him rowing. He'll be the captain, and you'll have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round. He'll want to go for a ride. He's pretty needy. He'll want you to go for a ride, too. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane, and he'll get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum. He'll ask you to take him there. First, he'll find dinosaurs, and then he'll visit Hall of Apes. When the museum closes, you'll be the last to leave. Of course, because if he goes home, he's got to clean up the mess. He's not, he's not stupid. He knows. Can't make him clean if he's not home. On the way home, you'll pass by the beach. You'll help him gather all of his things. Then he'll want to race you. When you get home, he'll empty the sand from his shoes Come on the carpet. With the sprinkles. <laughs> he might spill some on the floor. Seeing the sand on the floor will remind him of the sprinkles. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some sprinkles, He'll want a cupcake to go with them. 
So the moral of this story is never, never, never give a cat a cupcake or sprinkles. Save them for me. I don't make a mess. Rebecca over at Blondie's, this is forbidden. Save your cupcakes and your sprinkles for Officer Best and Officer Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Anytime we'll take them. <laughs> I'm all about cake. Not for a cat to have cupcakes and sprinkles and leave a mess. For the dad to clean up. <laughs> and that was your book? That was our book, If You Give a Cat a Cupcake. Never do that. Never give a cat a cupcake. <laughs> that was a good book. I like it. Although my cat, if you leave food on the counter, will jump up there and take it off the counter. So you cannot have cats out in my house. I don't know. We're due for one. I understand that we're getting a, a new a new member of our family within the next few weeks. And I, I don't know. We'll Are you going to give it a cupcake? I'm not going to give it a cupcake. But then again, I have a two-year-old granddaughter. Uh -huh. There's no telling what she'll give that cat. She'll give it a cupcake. She'll give it a cupcake. But that's okay. Pops will be there to clean up the mess. Yep. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed our book, and we want to say... Make sure you stay well, stay safe and healthy, and... Wash your hands, and never give a cat a cupcake! <laughs> Bye!